Freeze on the page six of the Guardian newspaper. Bandits. Hmm. Yeah, this one. Bandits. Hmm. <laughs> Sack 15 communities. Bandito. Mm. Are you serious? In Taraba. Monica Lament. Okay. Bandits. Hmm. Sack 15 communities. UBA, they are not the governor of the, of the state, Abi. UBA records 37% growth post 404 billion era PBT and H1. MTN lament vandalization of sites, infrastructure orders in Southeast. Tobaya is open the network. Okay. Two years after, cargo movement begins on Apapa Ibadan, 1.5 billion naira, 1.5 billion dollars rail line. Petrol, diesel, cost may soar as oil prices rise amid tighter supply. <laughs> Petro that we are buying now much. <laughs> you people should not try it too. Uh -huh. From Malami to Fagbele, in search of holistic reform for judiciary, multi-dimensional approach necessary to cop on employment. Those are the stories that made it to the front page of the Guardian newspaper mm. this morning. Not every story is unlucky to make it to the front page of Nigerian <laughs> newspaper. <Correct>. Everybody, <laughs> everybody with you on this one. <laughs> But fortunately for the little stories, I'm going to take you through the merits to the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. Follow me. I'm not going to make you a feature of men. You decide what you want to become. But listen. <laughs> the banner headline of the Nigerian Tribune this morning, Lagos Ibadan Cargo Rail begins operation. Federal government inaugurate forced containers French service, service rather, to start with 93 in one month. Gunshot as NURTW faction clash in Abuja. Nigerian oil output increased to 1.18 MPBD in August, says OPEC. Flood claims over 5,000 in Libya. U.S. House of Reps may move to formally begin Biden impeachment. Wow. Wow. Hmm? Immigration, Nigerian US, immigration US, service. No, oh, come again. Your, Biden's US, Biden's Biden Biden's impeachment. Yeah, yeah. I've not I, heard I, of that. I, I don't know what is yeah. going on, but yeah. I, but you can get you can get the full story oh, on page yeah. twenty eight of the Nigerian Tribune. Mm -hmm. And there's a story that amazed me here, and I think I love it because it's a good one for Nigeria. The Nigerian immigration service cleared sixty thousand backlog of passports in four days. Wow. Says minister. So if they can actually claim for this, what has been the delay? Wrong. I'm actually Why? a beneficiary, I must confess. Are you wow. serious? I collected mine last week. Wow. Well, yeah. No, no, no. See, on, on, on a social media page, I don't want to mention the blogger because it's a free advert for you, so I'm not mentioning it. I saw it and I read people's comments and people were like, I collected mine yesterday. I collected mine last week. Did you check mine? I, initially, I thought... I need to uh, check mine because uh, I actually went for a renew. The minister said so he does not, he will not take us up to two weeks to get your passport anytime you want to have it. So I think they need to call our day. We need to ask some questions from the former. <laughs> Honestly, they, we need to ask some questions. Took people six months, four Our regular will explain tire. Two uh, people <laughs> evidence deal. Uh, you know how, much, tire. You know how much he enriched the, the some people. Do you know how much? So these but people, people are actually just been returning Nigerians in. just because mm. they want but to reach I don't need mine in a hurry, so I just, you know, just took my time. And in which way, Akele Dolu sacks deputies' media hate, and yet the deputy governor said he's still loyal to Akele Dolu. I guess he has a governorship ambition, by the ah. way. There's a trouble in those states. Yes, yes, actually. Trouble, I'm trouble telling you. Looming. It's looming. It's because uh, Akele Dolu sacked all the media hates to the deputy governor. But the state. The deputy governor. The deputy governor is still there. What no, he can't sack the deputy governor. Be, I think he doesn't have, have the power. He doesn't have the power. He doesn't have the power. Just the House of Maybe Assembly. It's only the House of Assembly that can sacked. move to sack the deputy. Okay, let me continue the stories here. Sit at home has ended in Southeast, says the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tawid hmm. Lagbaja. He said, no Tamedo can do whatever thing he can <laughs> in Southeast. <laughs> and that's a good one for Southeast. Yeah. Yeah, have okay. you confirmed it? I said, it coming from the chief of army staff. They play. Tauri. Uh -huh. If somebody that <laughs> likes to face Tamedo at war, Not he war. goes to war. Okay. You know, you know he goes let's to keep war. Let's keep our fingers then. crossed. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, let's just hope for the best. Let's, let's, let's hope, hope for the best. Let's will not be lost this uh, time. Mm. UBA records significant growth in revenue, profit, and key metric with 404 billion 
and profit before tax. Mm. CV Hell honors yet another further in our Wolo Award Dutimus Car. Nominations open for 2023 above Femi Award Prize. Labour Party cries out over loses at Tribuna. They need to reduce their volume. Give Nigeria Federal <laughs> Constitution a day banjo, a day conla, tell to Nobu. Those are the lucky stories that made it to the front page of the Nigerian Tribune this morning. Uh, Tessie, I think the Nigerian Tribune needs to give a uh, uh, real, real, <laughs> real some chairs. <laughs> to give you some chairs because Rio would not take any other newspaper apart from the Nigerian Tribune. Tribune. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's your layout or whatever. He I said really, he believes they speak the truth. I really don't know. Actually, mm. and I like the way they are reading their story. Uh -huh, it's a layout. <laughs> it's easier to read. Mm. Okay, let's look at the Nation newspaper this morning. I'm not going to forget to, to, to say the name. Yesterday, you had to tell them what, which newspaper I was reading. The but Nation. today, it is the Nation newspaper. The Nation. All right, from the Nation newspaper this morning, Crisis Rocks Odo, Exco over Akere Dolu Deputy Field. Governor fires Deputy Governor's aides. Aye, aye, aye datiwa. Da aye datiwa. Aye datiwa. Da I remain language. loyal. Commissioners SA's jittery. Mm. Burial for Akintola Williams next month. President others mourn icon. Otedola hails Tinubu for resolving UAE visa ban. Flights suspension. UAE visa ban flight suspension. Governor fires deputy. Oh, I've, I've taken that. UBA posts 404 billion half year profit. First lady donates 500 million to 500 families in Plateau. 500 million to 500 families means 1 million to each family. Yeah. What do you think? That's palliative. No, but I'm even saying that. Wow. I mean, that, that 500 million to mm. 500 families mm. could have gone to 1,000 families as. 500 million. That's 500,000. Each. Each. Okay. Wait, so each family is taking one, one, million. Million, one million. What, what state is that? Do we have that much money in Nigeria? Plenty. I noticed something this week. Oh. We have money. Plenty even the vice people. president. Have you, seen, have you seen the vice president? Why the I don't even know. Uh -huh. is, there any, is, there, is there any The data? story is on page there six. There are not like the poorest of the poorest. So the poorest of the poorest will collect 5,000 and 6,000. And the rich of the riches will we don't have time. Let, let, let's go. Let's move on. So federal government targets inflation cut with 50% FAAC savings. Cargoes for evacuation to decongest Lagos ports. And final, like, finally, flood storms kills over 5,000 in Libya town. Trade between Nigeria and EU grows to 45 billion euros. That, that's it today on newspaper headline review. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. For the effectiveness of board of directors, sustainability of business, importance of ethics and corporate brand, roles and responsibilities of chartered secretary, and for all that you need to know about the principles and practices of corporate governance, join the conversation at Corporate Governance Platform. Join on MITV UHF 43 and channel 255 on DSTV on Thursday. From 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. Corporate Governors Platform, proudly brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria. Ixa, the hub of, of governance professionals. professionals. You must have the fear of God. Because the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. A man slapping the wife and asking the wife, get out, go to hell. <laughs> If he has the fear of God in him, he should know slapping the wife is like slapping himself. Somebody sees a thing, comes into a place, looks around and says, no, 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 no. I mean, we should reorganize things. Mm. Things are not moving well. I say, shut up. Man, you say, shut up. There's no opportunity for I mean, how will they learn? Tomorrow, when they get into power, when those same youth get into power, they will not want to listen to anybody with a dissenting voice. Exactly. Coming and up too. that will be a conspiracy against progress. Run away from bad companies. Bad companies ruins good morals. Mm. There are distractions that will not allow you to achieve the purpose that you intend to achieve. Okay.
no matter how much amount of money you have in the bank, mm -hmm. I can tell you something, it can destroy the home if there's no time for each other. to the bumper breakfast show and this morning on the program we have a special guest he is mr ayokunle james adeyemi he's a senior consultant of logistic and supply chain management today we will be discussing the lifting of the ban on the nigeria on, Ni on the nigerian on nigerians on nigerians by the uae good morning mr adeyemi Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the Bumper Breakfast Show this Thank morning. You for having me. Good morning. Show. Good morning. Welcome Please. to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's no longer news that you know things are normalized um, in our relationship with um, the UAE because our president went on a visit, you know, and, and struck a deal, you know, and now we can go to um, Dubai, you know, as we used to before before the ban. Now, what's your take? What's your position on this? What do you think about this move? Okay, uh, thank you for having me, and uh, good morning, uh, all the viewers. I want to first commend the president for the initiative and the passion he put into, you know, the the his government. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, the, the other <laughs> he has a predecessor that just left that couldn't achieve what he has uh, just achieved. So okay. it's, a, it's a plus to this uh, administration and mm -hmm. uh, I want to say removing the ban has created hope in most Nigerians mm -hmm. especially uh, people that love tourist activities and uh, those that had businesses to do in Dubai you know I think it's a, it's a welcome development and we, we, we really appreciate the, the president for taking the initiative mm -hmm. to solve this uh, uh, problem that I've been lingering for almost a year now you mm -hmm. know uh, I think I give him a plus for that. You said the story is somehow confusing because, according to some reports I read yesterday, again, they said it's not as if we can start um, applying for visa now and they will give it to us. And some people even said, we've only had from Nigeria, the media, public, the media aid to the president. Why is United Arab Emirates not saying anything? Anything. Okay, uh, yes, I think. Looking at the, if you go through the the, mm. the sites, the website of the Hemery, mm. you will find out that there is no specific details mm. as to the lifting of the ban. Mm. You know, and uh, that that shows that uh, to them there may be a policy that they have to follow protocols. They have Protocol, to follow protocols. Yeah. So probably they they would still have to give uh, probably wait for like two one month, mm -hmm. two weeks, one month mm. to see. We, we we in Nigeria here is a good news to us. Mm. But they ask, they have to put a whole lot of things in place. In place, yeah. You know, protocols, policies have to mm. be put in place before they, they put it um, up there for the public. So I think it's banding because their president pronounced it, you know, so they won't have uh, uh, say no to what the president, president has, has, has said, said, has said yeah. you know. Mm. Okay. So all what we just need to wait mm. on in Nigeria is just to be patient. Mm. Then I also, I feel... Uh, the Nigerians need to start taking the, the, the step of applying for the visa. Okay. It is when you apply that you will know and you are rejected. when you yeah. can boldly mm, say, say that uh, mm. the initiative has the, not been affected. Not been yet. affected. Yeah. Mm. So if you, have not, if you haven't applied, you can't conclude yet. Okay. Mm. Okay, but may I just ask you do you think that in the first place the ban was deserving? Well, just as I said earlier, every government. Uh, has their home policy in place. I, I want to say that uh, United Arab Emirates and uh, Nigeria has had a good bilateral relationship for years. Mm -hmm. You know, looking when the first um, when they started their operation in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, in 2004, that was mm -hmm. when the, the hairline started in Lagos, mm -hmm. August 2004, and then the the kick off the Abuja. Uh, operation in 2014, mm -hmm. January 2nd, precisely, and uh, I, I think there are things that are uh, that we need to put right, and they, because of their standard, mm -hmm. 
These are their, these are their yeah. crap. You know, mm. they, they have to, they, 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 they work on the standard and they get reports from Nigeria as well. Mm. So they know the situation of our, uh, the condition of our hairlines. They know what, and so they, uh, from, from the reasons why they even, if I may say some of the reasons, the reason why they even place the ban, you know, to them is justifiable. It's justifiable. Yes. The problem is not with them. The it's problem with is them. with us. It's with us, yeah. You understand? We, we, we needed to put our house in order. Put our house in order. We needed to pay uh, some, uh, some, some, some international airlines, which they are included, and we couldn't get the, the money paid just because we are having issue with FS. Mm. Yeah. That is. So uh, at a particular point in time, by the time they were, this issue was coming up in September, it started in September 1st, you know, 2000 and, uh, last year, 2022. Mm -hmm when they first went on uh, the publication that they're going to suspend their operation. And then the, the government went ahead to put some few things in place. 50% uh, of the amount that was supposed to be paid to all the international airlines, which is in tune of about 400 and something million uh, US dollars. Yes. So they were able to sort out 50% of it. And then on the 10th of September, 2022, they came up and said, okay, we're going to resume operations. But soon or later, less than one month to that again, the final ban came about, you know. And the, the reasons what that they gave in um, why they had to place the ban was mm -hmm. just because, of course, they have to give a positive reason. Mm -hmm. the, the, the COVID-19 issue, trying to say they're they trying to look at how to... They put a condition to Nigeria. One, there's one vaccine that they asked us to take, which Nigeria was protesting. And so they just felt that the, the, the best thing to do for them to save themselves is just to place it back. Mm. But I also I, I strongly believe that the youth also has a part to play in this ban. Yes, that, we, that I was going to say yes. that there were allegations. There that were allegations because Nigerians there was a video were, that surfaced on yes. internet then where they were fighting, called uh, they, they activities, called activities yes. and they attacked even the citizens. Of yes, the, uh, the, those of are the cumulative reasons mm. that they gave. Yeah. You know, you know the suspension of the airline. Mm. Is different from banning of the visa. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's yes. a two different it's thing. It's a two different thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. So mm. they holistically look at the challenge um, mm. and I must let you to know that it is mm. not only Nigeria that was banned. Yes. There were about 20 yeah, countries, other yeah. countries. Mm. Yeah, Ghana was involved. Togo was involved. Benin mm. Republic was involved. Cote d'Ivoire was involved. Mm. You know, so they, 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 they've done their homework. Hmm. And because Nigerian citizens that are there, you know, they, they discover some courtist activities among them. In fact, they were even asking Nigerians, what does court mean? Because they don't know. They don't know. Because it's strange They've to never Yes. Oh. You know? And oh, okay. if you look at us at uh, 20, uh, 2019, there are almost o o over 400 and uh, something Nigerians that are serving different sentences in Dubai prison. Hmm. Are you getting it? They brought out an emergency, they, they, they issued an emergency certificate of repatriation of over 1,300 Nigerians. You understand? Just because of different uh, activities that is strained to them, to them. And they felt that no. They will pollute if, the system. <laughs> if they will pollute their system. Uh, of course, you need to know if you've been to Dubai, you need to know how the activities is being conducted. Mm -hmm. That it is not it mm. is not business it's as not usual. Business as usual. They don't take laxity, they don't accept mm -hmm. in, don't. in discipline and other no, no, things in, mm. in, their, in their country. Mm. So to them it is a good deal for them. Yes, okay. it's a bad eggs. They have to take out the mm. bad eggs. Yes. But sir, oh, 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 Nigerians are rejoicing, we are happy. But we do not even understand what are the benefits okay we the 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 benefit first to the to the federal government mm. or to the nigerians as a whole is mm. an improvement is a good news yes. okay. that we're taken out of the list it, it is a pride to us mm. you know that means you can you can walk into dubai with your shoulder high mm. you know secondly to the federal government it's going to have an uh, impact on our forests economy, yes. mm. and our economy. Thank you. You know. So then, secondly, the the those that are uh, business uh, that are into business that they have to do their businesses in Dubai, mm. <laughs> especially those that you know into buying and selling. Mm. I mean, for over one year now, their businesses have been shut down. Mm. So oh. activities began again from, and that is more money for Nigerians. Yes. Mm. Yes. You know, not only that. The, the, the another benefit is they want uh, the Nigerians that reside 
in Dubai. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, of course, you have a lot of Nigerians that works in Dubai. I have a, I have a very a, a childhood friend that is a very solid engineer in one of the manufacturing there. Suddenly, about eight months ago, his license was revoked. Hmm. And he would have been back to Nigeria, but the company was like, they can't afford to lose you. Hmm. Just, just hold on. Hold on. Hmm. We'll but it's not being paid. You, you see? Hmm. So for, for those Nigerians, for, as I said, yesterday that I spoke with him, he's, he's already rejoicing that some hmm. of the Nigerians over there, yeah, they are hopeful. They are hopeful. Yeah. That their uh, mm. work permits or the licenses that they used mm. to operate over okay, there over, yeah. will be restored. Mm. So that 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 is some well, of the benefits. It, to it, it, the it, it, this mm. is quite unfortunate that we always have to misbehave. I mean, just like you said, for those who have gone to Dubai, you can see that everything is planned, everything yes. is disciplined. You know, and then you now wonder what had our leaders been doing. I mean, <laughs> what had the past leaders been doing? Why did it have to get to this? To this. Hmm. I think we have national uh, orientations that uh, hmm. I think somehow they failed in that aspect. Because you find out that uh, Nigeria just wake up in a day and they want to move to a particular country without knowing the do's and don'ts of that nation. So if the national orientation uh, or those that are in charge, the agency that are in charge of orientating in those that want to relocate, if they put up there informations about each country, which I, because I, I sometimes I deal with people that traveled, you know, and I discover that sometimes they don't even have information of the country where they are going. So, and as a result of them getting there, they misbehave, they, they often forget that the activities they practice in Nigeria is different from what they're going to be practicing there. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, and just like you said, you know, there are two different things. One is the visas and mm. one is the airline. airline. In the case of the airline, mm. what was the minister, why, what were, what was that leadership doing? doing. Why, mm. why, why did it get one to One thousand and one question to ask. Too in, many in, questions in, to ask. In, in, and and let let me say this. Mm. The one, one thing I used to um, appreciate or commend uh, mm. President Bola Tinubu is the fact that he went there himself. Himself, yes. yes. Someone said that. Someone yes. said it, yes. <laughs> he went there himself. Yes. We had a discussion. If yeah. he had raised up delegates or committee to mm. go there, they wouldn't have been able to resolve it. The effect it. would yes. be the same, yes. Yes. Sure. You know, the former yes. president, Muhammadu Buhari, you know, put a court through in February last year to their president when he was trying to commensurate with the death of, the, of his uh, in-law. Mm. You know, That's not good and he was like mm. bringing up this issue of at look, the same time. But but you find out that they weren't listening. But President Tinubu went there in himself. That is the highest person, number one person yes, in the nation. That's, that's, that's a lot of regard. But that's you know, the past government, I won't blame the, I won't blame, blame uh, uh, the former president, Muhammad Buhari, because that's why we have advisors. That, that's that's advisors advisors advisors. why we have that's ministers. That's why we have ministers. That's why we have ministers. That's why we have ministers. So we and, shouldn't even blame him for that. I think uh, I was shocked when mm. they brought in uh, Fessor Skiabo. Right, as, as a minister for aviation. aviation, aviation I was minister. like, what this man was in the former Legal administration, mm. you know, and people were condemning. And I understand the fact that there are legal terms, hmm. yeah. agreements, hmm. that that's one of the reasons I think they would have brought him in hmm. to be able to read and ascertain and look at the legal terms, be you know, guiding the operations of uh, you know, Nigeria Airlines. Well, let's hope that, you know, the change, the change will cause a change, you know, an eventual change. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Ayokule James Adeyemi, Adeyemi. You, for being mm. on the program, the Bumper thank Breakfast you. Show. Thank I'm you for sure coming. I'm sure that, that, that some other time we will need you to come on the program soon. Well, this time, you. next time we'll be talking about evasion. <laughs> yeah, no problem. We're <laughs> talking about something else. <laughs> yeah, there are other issues that we need other to discuss. Yes. 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 There are a yes. lot of issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so, so, so much. Well, that's the much we can take on the bumper breakfast show this morning unfortunately but we want to thank you for being out there my name is Tom Adewe um, Tessie I am Teresa Adeyemi see you on the bumper breakfast show tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and we will be rounding up this program with a package um, um, our governor's um, palliatives 
this program. Sawolu ambassador. Sawolu, yes, Sawolu ambassador. Yeah, uh, Elijah Montai. Yes, mm. on, the, on the program this, this morning. Thank you for watching the Bumper Breakfast Show. We hope to see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.